Hello everyone, today our topic is types of reproduction in fungi. First we discuss about the asexual reproduction in fungi. In asexual reproduction of fungi, each of the fungal groups is characterized by the differences in the way of reproduction. In most cases, this is the production of structures by spores. Spores contain the products of either mitotic or meiotic nuclear division. Within the nucleus, the spores are cytoplasmic organelles including mitochondria and energy reserves such as glycogen and oils that support respiration during dormancy and germination. Asexual spores are produced by mitotic division. This is the most significant way in which the lower fungi and ascomycid is spread. In case of asexual spore formation in lower fungi, a sporangium is formed in which thousands of spores are stored. This sporangium is supported by a structure called sporangiophore. The distinction between the sporangiophore and sporangium is kept by columella which is the cell wall. Each spore contains nucleus which is packed with little amount of cytoplasm when necessary all cell organelles and around this a spore wall is secreted. As the sporangium ripens, the spores take up water and the spore wall ruptures and the spores get released. One such example is rhizopus. In Ascomycetes, conidia is the spores that are formed. They can be formed either by the blastic process or by the thallic process. Here this one blabs out and in this case the fragmentation of hyphen cells takes place. They are aggregate, this conidia are aggregated into a coronium, a flask and acavalus. The blastic process is a process where the teeth soften locally and a spore is blabbed out. And in the thallic process, the hypha divides into number of cells with dividing wall septa and then it gets fragmented. The conidio spore may be produced from single specialized hypha called conidiophore or the hypha that bears spores and may be aggregated into structures that are visible to our naked eye. One such example is yeast. The other ways of asexual process of reproduction is by the formation of orthospores which is formed by disjointing of hypal cells Chlamydophores which are formed from the vegetative hypha and blastospores are spores that are formed from budding. Now we are going to discuss about the sexual reproduction in fungi. In sexual reproduction of fungi, a fungi such as mucor biomelis is taken, which has two strains, one positive and one negative. They require mating for reproduction. When both strains are grown, Close to each other, sex organs that is the gametangia is produced by which molecular signals are exchanged. The cell wall between the gametangia dissolves, the cytoplasm mix and the nuclei fuse, forming zygospore comprising the zygote. Here from the diagram we can see this is the prometagangium, the positive and the negative strain. The formation of gametangium, the nuclear fusion between the two gametangia formation of the zygospore that is zygote and a tiny outgrowth immediately form, causing the formation of sporangium and the sporangiophore. This is the germinating zygospore. In ascomycetes, the process is slightly different. They require mycelia to produce and sex organs can be rarely seen. Central to the onset of sexual reproduction, ascongium that is an inert cell can be seen. It has two nuclei. From ascongium, a modified cell wall, cell with a bent tip called crozia grows out. Series of nuclear and cellular divisions takes place in the crozia, which leaves two nuclei, a terminal and subterminal cell of crozia. This nuclei fuse and meiosis occurs, which is followed by mitosis, which produces eight nuclei and not. This is the shape of a crozia. From here, the Several mitotic divisions occur to form the zygote. The zygote then undergoes the meiosis and mitosis to produce these eight nuclei. This all occurs under the cell ascus, and these spores that are formed here are known as ascospores. There are eight spores in all in one ascus, each spore containing the nucleus. Large aggregation of ASCII is known as hymenium. Water is harnessed for discharge of spores by bursting the ascus. The hymenium is here as a 
acts as a floating body. The cytoplasm is devoid of organelles and it converts to simpler sugar because of the carbohydrate reserve. In Basidomycetes, the mycelium contains two nuclei of different mating types in most of its life cycle. The germinating mycelium is dikaryotic and some of this dikaryotic state is achieved by fusion of two mycelia at an early stage of fungi life cycle. In some species, both nuclei remain at the same compartment of each cellular division, which is also known as clam collection. Within the clef, clam collection, fusion takes place in specialized cells called basidia. Neosis occurs there forming four haploid nuclei which are ballooned out as basidus for sterigma along with the cytoplasm, organelles and food reserves. Basidomycete fruit body or sporophore protects the hymenium of basidomycetes. Here is the basidia. In singular it is called basidium. This is the basidial cell. The upper four dots are the basidophores and the small line that is the outgrowth that is known as sterigma. Now we come to the summary of sexual reproduction. It comprises of gametic copulation, gametangial copulation, plasmogamy, karyogamy, meiosis, mitosis. It occurs in the formation of different spores like zygospores in case of mucor bivalis, ascospores in case of ascus in the sac called ascus for the ascomycetes and basidophores for the basidomycetes fungi. The spores are surrounded by rooting bodies to protect them, that is the perithecium and apothecium. So this brings our end to the discussion of the topic types of reproduction in fungi. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe to our channel and share the video as much as possible.